Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is Ben here, back again with another video. And in today's video, guys, I'm gonna give you an honest review on the Google IT automation with Python certification offered by Coursera. Now, if you've been following the channel for a while now, you guys would know I made a video similar to this one about a year ago, except it was on the Google IT certification. And so if you guys wanna check that out, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below. With that being said, guys, in this video, I'm gonna cover four different things on this course. I'm gonna talk about the pricing, um, the content, curriculum, and what you guys can expect. I'm gonna talk about what kind of people this course was made for, whether you need experience or not. And lastly, how this course will help you in your career. Before we get into the video, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to drop me a like for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out. And also, if you're interested in business, making money online, um, IT, and my life in general, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 10,000 subs. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, you guys, so the pricing for this course is going to be $50 a month. Um, there is no flat fee or anything like that. Um, it just depends on how long you guys take to complete the entire course. So for example, if I take one month to complete the entire course, I'll just pay $50, but if I take 12 months to complete the entire course, it'll be $600. With that being said though, I actually have a special announcement. I've partnered with Coursera and I've been able to convince them to give you guys, my viewers, 25% off of your first month um, of taking this course. Now this offer actually ends on September 30th, 2020. So if you're considering taking this course and you wanna save some money, all you have to do to accept this offer or to take advantage of it is use the link in the description below to sign up. Once you're there, there should be a banner that says you're one of my fans that you will save 25% off. Then from there, just click on enroll and then in the checkout, you will see that you are saving 25% off and then just go ahead and subscribe. If you're watching this video after the fact, after September 30th, 2020, I'm sorry. I'm still gonna leave a link in the description below that you guys can still use to check out this course. The certification itself is split up into six different courses, and I'm just gonna go ahead and read them off to you guys really briefly. So the first course is going to be Crash Course on Python. That's pretty much gonna give you a fundamental understanding of how to write programs in Python. Course number two is using Python to interact with the operating system. Course three is introduction to Git and GitHub. Course four, troubleshooting and debugging techniques. Course five is configuration management and the cloud. And the last one is automating real world tasks with Python. So each of these six courses are also split up into different sections called weeks. And within each of these weeks, you're gonna be finding uh, short videos and short readings that you guys are gonna be expected to complete. And towards the end of each of these weeks, you're actually gonna have a small practice quiz um, where it pretty much tests your understanding and just make sure that you are understanding the things that you are learning. So pretty much in a nutshell, this course is gonna teach you how to write in Python, um, you know, learning how to write programs and scripts and things like that. Um, you're gonna learn how to manage processes and files. And the most important one is gonna be learning how to analyze and troubleshoot real world IT problems. Now, the cool thing about this certification is that towards the end of each of these courses, you're gonna have a final project that you're gonna be expected to complete. Now, these final projects are not terribly difficult or anything like that. They're just meant to be there to test your knowledge and check for understanding. Um, but I would take them very seriously because you wanna use them as a way to implement your knowledge that you guys have just learned. This course is also beginner friendly, so you don't need to have any prior knowledge when it comes to coding, or IT or anything like that. All you have to do is to be willing to learn and also implementing and practicing the concepts that they teach you and just making sure that you understand everything. You can always go back to the videos or to the readings um, or your, your notes that you take um, and just making sure that you actually understand everything. Most of you guys are probably wondering, will you be able to land a job after taking this course? Now, obviously guys, there are no guarantees when it comes to getting a job after taking this course. However, Coursera has said that there are resources for you guys after taking this course. First, like mock interviews and resume builders that you guys can definitely use to help your chances. 
Some of these companies include Google, Walmart, Sprint, Bank of America, and a bunch of other ones. But like I said, guys, there are no guarantees when it comes to certifications um, and getting a job. It's pretty much all up to you to implement and practice your knowledge and keep on learning and building up your resume. Um, you are gonna have a Google IT automation with Python certification um, that you guys can add to your resume, which is pretty cool as well. Um, but it's pretty much up to you to use your knowledge, use your certifications to kind of market yourself and um, get that job that you've always wanted. But with that being said, guys, that pretty much concludes it for this video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave me a like so that it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. And also consider subscribing and joining the family. We're on our way to 10,000. And also follow me on Instagram at Ben Hustles to get a more personal look into my life. But with that being said, guys, my name is Ben and I'm out. Peace.